What's up, my VR All-Stars? Vandalin here with another adventure into the virtual world, and today we're hitting on everyone's newest favorite game, Population One. So, let's get to it. First, a little about me. I suck at first-person shooters, and I mean I really, really suck. This is pretty typical of me, and I've always hated the fact that I could never really play with my friends in this niche simply because I can't really hold my own. I would always have to be carried, and it's just never fun to have to carry someone. That is until recently, when Population 1 came out, and I have to say, this super ambitious first person shooter in VR did grab my attention, but I initially dismissed it out of hand, simply because I don't necessarily enjoy the genre. However, my boss here at the Virtual Athletics League wasn't going to let me off the hook that easy, and the conversation for this video went a little something like this. Hey, I want you to do a video on Pop 1. But I don't play FPS games. Yeah, but it's brand new and we've got plans for it, so I want you to highlight the game. <sighs> do I have to? It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. Ugh, fine. In all seriousness, guys, Ryan is super chill and a great boss and very committed to building a strong and vibrant community here at the Virtual Athletics League. So don't take anything that I just said as more than satire. We are not run by a Dark Lord of the Sith, I promise. So with that having been said, I spent some time in the tutorial, learned the game a little bit, and proceeded to give it a shot. Now, with all this in mind, you're probably not wrong when you're expecting me to just completely stink on ice when I go into an actual match. And in a lot of ways, I did. However, I'm actually kind of proud about this one. Whoop -de -doo. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Whoop de doo! A grand total of three kills. But for me, this was special, all right? Let me have this one! So, what does this mean for you, the newbie who might be watching this video wondering if you should be getting into Pop One? Well, first and foremost, if I can do it, I promise that you can do it. Because there's hardly anyone who sucks more at these kind of games than I do. Don't be so scared about failing and sucking at this that you're going to miss out on a truly well-designed game that honestly brings a lot to the VR scene. Secondly, it means you should absolutely, definitely, 100% like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more original VR content, game news, and tournament announcements here with the Virtual Athletics League. And actually, I'm super excited to announce that the Virtual Athletics League is putting on a charity Population One tournament on November 21st, and we would love to see any and all of you there. We're partnering with the charitable organization Extra Life for this event, and if you want to check out them and what they do, go ahead and look at the link in the description, or if you want to continue to support us and our effort to bring attention to them, then go ahead and show up for this event. We would love to see you there. Hey, also, we've got some community events coming up for Pop One that if you want to take a part of, check out our Discord or go to www.valvr.com to get more details about what's coming up. Trust me, if you're a fan of Population One or Battle Royale in general, you're not going to want to miss this. So jumping back to the point of this video. How did this noob feel about taking an adventure in Population 1? Well, now, having just returned from said adventure of trying this out, I've got a few observations for you. First, my preconceptions about this game were completely unfounded. The idea that I was going to go in and be 
absolutely curb stomped with every match just simply didn't end up materializing. While yes, there are experienced players there, the game is still so new and so open that there hasn't really been any team or any one person that's dominated the field yet. It's still anyone's game and you can really enjoy it as opposed to say were you to jump into like Fortnite or PUBG where everyone is so established and so good that a newbie really has a hard time competing. Secondly, I've reconsidered my view of the niche as something that was just super toxic and hyper competitive to being a genre that, while I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to jump into it, might be something a little more enjoyable than what I initially thought. Would I say that I'm gonna jump ship and dive headfirst into Pop 1? No, absolutely not. I still enjoy games in many different genres and first person shooters are still kind of low on the list. But that's just my personal taste and not a reflection of the quality of the game itself. Big Box has done an absolutely phenomenal job with the production value of this game and I cannot praise them enough for all the effort and time they've put into it. This is going to be a game that I truly feel, even if I personally am not super invested in it, is going to change the entire landscape of the VR first person shooter genre forever. So if you're looking for a noob friendly ish first person shooter here in VR, I would highly recommend population one because believe me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm not, you, you saw at the beginning of the video, I suck. You can check out some more of our original content here or see some of our tournament streams here. And again, don't forget, we have a charity tournament for Population 1 coming up on November 21st with more details to follow. This is a great game, this is a great cause, and we would love to see as many people as we can get out there. Now you guys stay safe, stay healthy, that's all for now, but I will see you next time.